Hey everybody, what's up? It's Kiki and welcome back for another video, child. I know it's been a minute since I talked to you guys, but I am back with a get ready with me, chit chat, update, all that good stuff and trying out some new makeup as well. So if you guys are interested in me, in my channel, make sure you're subscribed already. Put the notification bell, YouTube been tripping and showing people my videos, but make sure you guys check out all the other videos I've uploaded this week. If you're already part of the Kiki Squad, hey, what's up? And welcome back. So if you guys would like to see you know makeup look little chit chat and all that good stuff keep watching but yeah i'm gonna jump right into my makeup i've already done my brows using the anastasia beverly hills brow wiz i haven't had this in a long time so i decided to pick up another one from sephora i'm just using the milk what is this called the milk hydro grip primer and then i'm just going to take a little bit of this for skin tune and put that right where my pores are I'm just going to set that with a little bit of this Becca brightening powder or whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called. It's been such a long time since I've actually sat down and recorded a video that I'm actually talking in because I didn't know what to say. So here we are today. This is kind of like a reset. I'm resetting my energy, resetting my vibe, just resetting, just an coming back uh better me y'all know i was dealing with anxiety and all that stuff and every time i think i get it under control it comes back and sneak up again for some reason but lately i've been doing good um haven't had any real anxiety attacks especially with the pandemic still going on and all that i've had three get togethers at my house with you know small just intimate family i really do want to get back into vlogging so i have to do better at that i'm gonna take this what is it the Juvia's place festival palette and this is how I've been doing my makeup lately. Like real, real easy. Take one color and go all over my eyes. I'm going to go with the um, Nubian 2 palette because that one just didn't do nothing. It ain't the color I want. And I'm going to go in Cleopatra. And yeah, that's the color I want. Okay, I want to do like something blue. But I do want to talk to y'all a little bit. So I am feeling a lot better. I want to get a pedicure. I've had a couple get togethers at the house. Like I said, I want to get back to vlogging. So hopefully we get to do more stuff so I can actually start vlogging. Because I really don't do anything but be in the house all day. I'm recording three other videos today. While I'm doing a blue eye. You're supposed to do like something neutral so it don't look like you recorded them all in the same day. But y'all already know. I told you guys I was going to update you on my natural hair. And... I was over it completely 100% over it I even went and bought a relaxer because I was going to relax my hair then I was undecided if I wanted to do a relaxer or a texturizer so I started doing like a bunch of researching on texturizers and I wasn't sure I started seeing stuff about wave nouveau it was just like a lot of stuff that I was didn't know what I wanted to do and then the other day I saw they put this new natural hair salon in my neighborhood and now I want to get them a try I'll probably go let them play with my hair a couple times and then decide what I'm going to do after that. And then I didn't know if I wanted to color it because I was thinking about coloring it because I haven't done any color to my hair since I went natural. And I want I wanted to change. That's what it is. I want a change. I just don't know what that change is. We'll see. We'll see. And if you guys have done a texturizer on your hair before, let me know your experience because I want to know. I want to weigh my options. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I picked up a couple things from Sephora. I picked up the new Becca. Well, not new. I picked up a new Becca foundation. This was the old one, but they changed it. And I think they changed the formula too. And I picked up a new color. This is Mocha. And this one was Sienna. Sienna's too dark for me and too red for me. You couldn't try on in Sephora. So hopefully this is my color. And then I also picked the... I had a coupon to get a free mascara. I picked up the small size of the Laura Mercier Honey Loose Powder. And the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray 24 Hour. So I might try that. Look like it should be my color. So I'm just going to apply that with the back of my... Dang it, I forgot the color correct. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I have melasma on my cheeks. Um... It gets lighter, it gets darker, but it never goes away. That's something I'm always going to have to deal with. Okay, so... Okay, and the viewfinder is looking a little warm or golden, but 
I think it has a neutral undertone. I can't remember. So yeah, like I was saying, they wouldn't let you test anything in the store, which is understandable, but I had to guess my color. And if you read the description online and look at this bottle, they don't match. So I really had to play real guessing games to figure out which color I needed. On one hand, I want to say it matched. I'm thinking it's as close as I'm probably going to get. So let's talk about my channel. My channel has been doing, uh, uh, honey, the numbers I've been getting on my videos, I've never got, I haven't gotten numbers like those in I don't know when. It's like nobody's watching, but a lot of people are telling me they're not even getting notifications. They're not getting uh, my videos showing up on there in their subscription feeds. Horrible, horrible. Okay, yeah, I like this. I like this. This even looks like the color that I use in the um, Juvia's Place Foundation. Yeah, I like this. But yeah, my views have gone down so much. It is really, really discouraging. But I'm going to keep pushing through. But oh my God. And then the algorithm and all this stuff, you know, trying to figure it out is kind of hard when like you've been on YouTube before they start doing all this stuff. So this stuff is kind of hard for me. And I reach out to some of my like YouTube friends or my YouTube sis and some act like it's a real secret that they can't tell you or they can't hook you up with the right people that'll help you and stuff. Try. This YouTube game is a mess oh shit i'm using the wrong concealer but yeah a lot of the girls they came to be your youtube friends or youtube sis but they don't want to help you when you need help with you know growing your channel or figuring out how to grow your channel don't ask me why i don't know like people who i've been cool with for a long time like if i asked them or i reached out to certain people they say they don't know so if you guys can give me some tips, pointers, or anything, I am open to it. The algorithm has really been kicking my behind. Um, I try to, like a lot of people on my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, you always see that I'm cooking and stuff. And people always ask me to do cooking videos. So, I posted cooking videos and I actually checked my analytics for that. And it was like, this not the video that people want to watch. So, if you guys want to see cooking videos, you guys have to watch like all of them so that the other ones will be recommended to you. Even if it's something that you ain't interested in cooking, just watch it. That's how I am about hair reviews. Like, even if you're not interested in my hair review, just watch it. Watch it so I get the views so that when I post other videos, you know, YouTube don't think you guys aren't interested in them because you didn't watch the previous video. Hmm. I like how it's looking so far. Looking good. So this is the powder in translucent honey. Hmm. I actually love the Laura Mercier in translucent. So I thought uh, I figured I would like this one with a little bit of tint to it. Okay, it's looking good so far. Um, the foundation looks like it's matching me really, really nice. The powder, it looks like it darkened up my concealer a little bit, but we'll see when we're done. So since I don't have nothing else new, I'm going to finish up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did my hair and changed my clothes. And I'm just going to take this Sephora Micro Smooth Face Powder. Oh, no, wrong thing, girl. This is what I just contoured with. What am I thinking? Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, I like it. I'm going back to one of my old favorites that I haven't even looked at in so long. MAC Copper Tone Blush. Why do I feel like I look low now? Mm -hmm. Let me see how this work has a reverse contour I always go up higher on one side always I like it 
And I just picked that up random. I was in Sephora and saw it. Saw they had a new color. Picked it up. Mm. I got some new lashes that I'm testing out. I'm trying to see if I want to add some drama to this look with these lashes. So business has been doing well. I just had my year anniversary. Um, and then I had a sale which went very very well listen when you ask God for something believe that he gonna give it to you cuz um, I asked God for a goal for my sale as in uh, the amount of sales that I have and you know at first I was like I don't think I'm gonna hit it I don't think I'm gonna hit it and Stephen was like if you ever ask for something or you set a goal don't go back on your goal don't doubt yourself and all that and, and usually that's me telling him that so you know I prayed about it asked God to forgive me for doubting him and I actually doubled my goal that was really really good that was a blessing I really really did not expect that but I should have because honestly I have really really good quality lashes I'm not even gonna lie I, I purchased lashes from other companies just to compare I have some really good lashes if I do say so myself so after I put the glue on the lash I go in, you know, kind of like lime my eye with the glue. Oh shoot, I forgot to do mascara. And this is the Lancome, what is it, Mr. Big? Monsieur Big, Monsieur Big, Min, Mon, yeah that. They didn't have a regular one, so I got the waterproof. And the lashes I'm wearing are one of my new lashes from, of course, Cotton Candy Eyelashes. And this is Fly Girl. I released two hybrid hybrid kind of lashes they're like they have length but they're not super full these are my favorite kind of lashes like I like a little length but I don't like them too dramatic and then I'm gonna take a lash applicator also available on cotton candy eyelashes and just apply it For my lips, I'm going to use my Kylie True Brown Liquid Lip as a um, liner. And this is Clean Kisses by Crayon Case. It's a lip gloss. And this ponytail is another one from Luxury Tresses by Fab. Fabulousity is me. I love her ponytails. I got a longer one. I think this one is the 3C ponytail. These go out of stock really, really quick. So when she posts that she have them, you have to snack them up. Mm, mm. But your girl feel cute. <laughs> um, definitely going to try to be more consistent on YouTube as well as Instagram on both of my accounts. So make sure you're following me at Miss Diva Like as well as Cotton Candy Eyelashes Instagram page. Yeah, I don't know about TikTok. I haven't done a TikTok in a long time. So, But yeah, um, I'm going to try to get more into Twitter as well. I have a Twitter, um, but I never tweet. But I think I want to get back into Twitter. So if you want to, you guys can follow me over there on Twitter. And let me know what you guys would like to see on my channel. If you guys have any advice for me, I am all ears. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it is a reset. I'm back. I'm going to try some new things. I'm going to try to upload you know, at least two to three times a week um not gonna promise three times all the time but i'm that's my goal so i'm gonna say at least two to three times a week and you know be more consistent and build my channel back up so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed this look i'm really really loving the becca foundation as well as the um lord merce translucent and honey so those both were good purchases so i will talk to you guys in my next video bye